But companies are saying, look, regardless of the pandemic, what we've seen is that work from home works better than we thought it would, um, what, uh, you know, with some tweaks. A couple companies said, well, look, we had to do some overnight VPN licensing to be able to do what we wanted to do. And we see that in our poll uh, response here for those of you on this, on this webinar, uh, only 6.7% of you said work from home doesn't work. So that's that's good, right? And we have to remember too that work from home means we can recruit from anywhere. We can do a certain amount of labor cost arbitrage if we hire people living in less expensive areas. We can get access to talent. Uh, I talked to a major financial institution that was based in the Midwest and they said, we can't hire AI talent. They will not come and move out here. And I said, have you thought about having them work remotely? Right. And this was pre-crisis. So I think we're going to rethink a lot of things. But we have to remember that work from home itself is only step one. It's not a panacea. There are many cultural and psychological things that go on with working from home. Uh, Paul, you and I are acculturated to working from anywhere because of the nature of our jobs. You know, pre-crisis, lots of travel, all of that. But for most people, there's a huge cultural transition. Technology can play a role if you use it wisely to help them to collaborate better with their colleagues, to have access to all of the business applications they need, to not worry about paper in the office. But it is still an investment. It is still a journey.